So there's these little triangle glands that sit on top of your kidneys, and I call them your batteries, because they are your stress reserve, and if the car gets a little low, if there's enough charge, the engine will turn on. But all of us in this room have had times when those little batteries have nothing left to give. And it causes this whole hormonal nightmare. Um, the disease states are Addison's disease, which means your adrenals don't function at all anymore. That's very rare. I've seen it once in 20 years. Cushing's disease is they're like overstimulated, usually by a tumor. I've seen that a couple times. Patients came there already had it. I didn't diagnose it. Um, those things are rare, but there's this huge gray zone. Am I in adrenal fatigue, adrenal exhaustion, a little hyperstimulation? Where am I at in that stress gland reaction? Because that's what they really are, is your stress glands. Um, life gets in the way of these little guys. Um, they do many things for us. They help our metabolism. Uh, they actually decide what we're going to do with fat, carbs, and protein. Oh, really? Interesting. They're the messengers that tell your cells what to do with those macronutrients. Uh, they have a play in blood pressure. Uh, if you have high blood pressure and you're stressed out, it's because of aldosterone. It has to do totally with stress and your adrenal glands. It has nothing to do with anything else. So when doctors just get lisinopril, I'm like, whoa, whoa, that's not the problem. It's their stress glands that are the problem. Um, I do prescribe lisinopril, but it's not for this. Um, immune system. They help in your immune system function. So when people are really stressed out, think finals exams in med school or college. You make it through, you get through, you get your whatever, you get done. Guess what happens when you're done? You get sick. You drop dead at home and your mom takes care of you for a week. That's a perfect example of adrenals being shot and then you get immune system dysregulation. Um, they are responsible for the fight or flight syndrome. When you're driving and a bus about hits you and you're like, oh! That adrenaline jolt you get is cortisol. That's your fight or flight hormone. That's good, we're supposed to have that. But then it goes away and then we relax. Guess what happens to a lot of women? We're in that I'm constantly being hit by a bus or seeing a bear syndrome, the mini bus I call it. And so you're always like your pupils are a little dilated, your blood pressure's a little up, your blood sugar's a little crazy because you're ready to run away from your bear or your life as fast as you can. That's a sad thing. Um, this is one of the hardest things to treat, honestly, hormonally, because a, a teacher once said to me it could take six months to two years to recharge the batteries. This is what I tell patients because that's depressing. I say, we're going to work on it and you're going to feel better in six months because you often do, and we're going to work on it for a while because we don't want it to go down again. Um, I do a lot of diet stuff, a lot of protein. This is where vegans, we have an issue, we have to do a lot of protein powders, but a lot of protein and B vitamins, a lot of herbs, and sometimes I use compounded cortisol from Becky. I try not to, honestly, but if I need it to jumpstart those little glands, we will, and that's kind of the most potent treatment for them. Um, you can test those things. We can test cortisol, DHEA, we can test your adrenal function. Um, this curve is supposed to look at 6 a.m., it's up here, and then it falls at noon, and then four, and then guess what happens at night? It's, it's at lowest, you go to sleep. Guess what happens to most women? I, I, my secretary, who is my secretary, if we get a normal adrenal test, she'll, she'll note it. I saw that adrenal test is normal because once a year it happens. All women have screwed up adrenal glands. It's just where the curve are you screwed up? Um, and there's so many subtle things you can do. And one of them is to deal with stress. Yeah. Again, reading people make a deep for 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> Or you stress them by their phone things and their kids on their leg and their whatever's happening. I, don't, I think our new normal yeah. becomes busy and hectic, and you know what I mean? Like, that's not, that's, mm -hmm. that is still stress. It's not a bear or a bus, but it's still stress. It's under this nagging feeling, your mother in law yelling at you, your whatever that looks like for you, that like, what if my husband's on the right back, you know, whatever that is. Those little things can still eat at you. That is also stress. It doesn't have to be big bouts of punch in the stomach stress. Little things of you know, it's body stress too. If you get infected, you get cold, you have a headache, you have muscle aches and pains. All those things are stressors. Everything. Actually, the worst patients are the ones that are like, I don't feel anything. <laughs> Who are you? And guess what I do? I do labs because I can prove to them that then it's their cortisol system. Most of the time I don't have to do that, but there are those, you know, contractors are my favorite patients. Men contract. 
<laughs> Are you going to tell me to be a vegetarian? No, I'm not to my fish. And then I get, I get this thing, and no, I'm not stressed at all. Let me take your blood pressure. And their blood pressure and their pulse, you know, they're like, don't sit on why you're doing it. And uh, no, I'm not stressed at all. I'm going after work and all these things. I'm like, all right, let's, can we check your cortisol off? Yeah, yeah, we'll do whatever you have to do. And it'll come back off the chart. And then they'll finally listen. And honestly, they'll do, I have some great, some guys, guys are very complaint. They're much easier than women. If I tell them what to do, they're pretty good about it, right? <laughs> <laughs> women, things get in the way. Um, but again, we come back to the stress thing. The other thing is sleep disturbances due to other hormonal problems. You have hot flashes at night to disturb your sleep. Guess what? It also burns out your adrenal glands. And so, see how all these hormone systems work together and screw up one another. That's the joy of endocrinology. Um, anything else in adrenals? Nothing. Just listening to your body and rest and sleep, like actual sleep. Oh, yeah. I'm going to talk at the end kind of about general things too. Yeah. Um, almost all my patients that come in as women get adrenal trouble. 